Hey everyone, uh, long time. Uh, sorry I haven't been around lately, I've just been waiting for a whole bunch of stuff to come in. Actually, tell you the truth, I actually ran out of stuff to review. Uh, but in the last couple weeks, I've got some more stuff and got some great reviews coming your way. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with the figure in front of you. Uh, S.H. Figuarts. I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, this is my first Fig Arts figure. I actually managed to find him in retail here in Canada. Uh, it's at a random comic book sh uh, store that I go to uh, quite often. So I looked at it for a while, debating whether or not I was going to pick it up. Uh, when I first saw it, I figured I wasn't going to bother picking it up because I wasn't in to uh, that toy line before. But upon reading reviews and seeing how close they were to Revil Tech stuff, I figured, hey, I'll give this guy a shot. And I'm really glad I did. This guy, this figure is really cool. Um, so like I said, he's the first one I own. Um, and after getting this guy, I figured I'd try and grab some more. So I'm in the process. So let's take a look at the box first. The box is pretty nicely detailed. Uh, actually, you no, know, there's actually not much to, to the box. Uh, just a bunch of... Got the figures names here, Japanese writing there, Jack Ball Z, crazy little sticker right here, and I, and you got some shots of the figure in various poses, not bad, and yes, you can see the price tag up there, that was the hefty part of it, but I am still glad I bought it, the box is very thin. Like, I wasn't expecting, because um, I know with Revil Tech, the, box, the boxes for Revil Tech figures are huge. These guys, it's very small, and I really like that. Let's get the box out of the way, bring the figure back in. And as you can tell, I am using a different camera this time. Upon doing some trial and error stuff, I realized this is the best camera. Now, the figure is well detailed. It does look like Vegeta, um, aside from the fact he's wearing the Saiyan armor and stuff. Uh, no tail. That's one of the no things I noticed immediately getting this guy out of the package. Um, he comes with other accessories. Stand him right there. Uh, he comes with... Apparently you don't like the stand. Stand. Put you off in the corner saying Vegeta. Alright. Uh, he comes with two sets of hands. As well as two different faces. Comes with open uh, palm hands. Uh, may have to move Vegeta just to get the focus going. There we go. I like he's about to blast something. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Um, like, like what, using one of his powers he has. Like uh, Goku's Kamehameha Wave. I forget what he has. I haven't seen his show in a while, so forgive me if I'm if I name some wrong details or stuff. So he comes with these two sets of hands right here, as well as uh, kind of like a chopping motion hand. Oh, that's not showing up. Come on, focus for me. You're doing so good. There we go. You have the two sets of those. As well as two extra faces. <clears throat> now for some reason these two extra faces have uh, weird eye placements. Come on. Bring it closer. No. I think my hand's too big. There we go. Um... He's looking off to the side, like in this this face. He has he's looking to the left, which is kind of weird because you can't really have him an on a head-on look. You gotta kind of pose him to the side and turn the head. And the other face has him looking to the right. Same problem. 
I, I kind of don't. I don't like that. Actually, it's just kind of wish they had uh, the eyes straight, straight on looking right at you, uh, like like the face he has on right now. His serious face, as I like to call it. This is how I normally pose. I just pose him with this face, and such. Uh, to change faces, all you do is just grab and pull, and now he looks like a scary monster with two big eyes. And this is kind of weird. What you got to do is the way it's designed. You gotta uh, put it up, put it on as an angle, push it in, and then push it down, and it should get into place. There we go. Now he's got a cocky grin. So, so like I said, I don't like those extra two faces, so I just pose them with a, a serious face. Switching hands is as easy as switching out a Revil Tech hand or a player figure hand. So I'm not going to bother showing that. Oh, excuse me guys, I'm just coming over a cold. Alright, as well. Uh, now, one thing that struck me about this figure, possibly future uh, SH figure arts I might get, is the the amount of articulation on these guys. It is incredible. They have articulation, which I never thought uh, there could be any articulation on a figure. Uh, but first and foremost, most uh, <clears throat> most notably, or sorry, the easiest one would be the head. It's complete ball joint up down left right side to side sorry guys gotta get used to this new camera and hold anyway apologies um anyways so yes uh, ball jointed head side up down left right all over the place now the arms right in the shoulder that's where the crazy joints i found come in uh, the shoulder itself wow the shoulder itself has about believe it's got one, two, three, four joints. Four joints in the shoulder itself. Uh, what it is, it's got a... The joint like Marvel Legends would have. You know, that little... Um, I guess you would call it shoulder blade movement or something. It's got that, which can also go up and down. So that's on a ball joint. It's inside the chest cavity. As well as the peg the shoulder's on. So it can rotate all the way around. And still do some a bit more uh, in and out motions up and down, as well as it's got this uh, the hinge at the shoulder. And then from there, it's kind of easy. It's got the swivel at the bicep, double jointed, double jointed elbow. Uh, although the the second joint's kind of hard to kind of hard to see. It doesn't really move that much. I think it's hindered by. Uh, the bicep. You can get some movement out of it, but anyways, continuing on. He also he has a ball jointed wrist and such. All right, continuing down. Now that noise you just heard, that's the waist. For some reason, this figure's waist can pop. Just pull up, and it extends them. See down here. See, you heard that? Yeah. Now, I'm not sure why that's in there. Uh, it might just be to try to, so you can pose them flying, I suppose, like that. But it doesn't really work. But uh, when I first did it, I actually thought I broke the figure. But then I just realized that it just easily slides back down, slides up, back down. So there's that. So it's, it's on a ball joint here, as well as uh, in the lower abdomen area. So it can go all over the place. Uh, his legs, uh, right here in the in, in the five, sorry, in the hips, almost have the same joints as uh, the shoulders, or and the little gimmick in the waist. You can pull down. Do it over here too. You can pull them down, which is weird. And then by doing that, you can expose the joint on the inside, which is all it is is just a hinge. So it can go up, down, and such. And then the hip itself, see if I can get this showing. Yeah, it's on a hinge, plus a swivel at the thigh. 
So, I mean, it can go up, down, back and forth, as well as swivel. And I thought that was very cool, too. Continuing down the leg, uh, he also sports double hinge knees. And as well as a ball jointed ankle. Then a little hinge at the toe. So very, very cool articulation. So you get some really nice dynamic poses from him. Um, let me pop one of his hands off. Oh, I just realized this. the hands are actually on a hinge and a ball joint. Huh. I never took the hands off before, so I learn something new every day. Uh, come on. There we go. Let's see what I can. Any cool poses I can get. There we go. Come on, move. My tripod is terrible. So there we go, there we have him. In a pose that's. Like with the articulation, he can do a number of poses. He's pretty stable, actually. Which is very nice. Uh, some figures I have are very bad. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who collects stuff. Uh, action figures and toys like this. Um, now, like I said, I got them at retail. So I did pay a little bit more as to what I... As to what you might normally pay at a Japanese site. Because um, I believe he goes for about 20 bucks Canadian on a Japanese site. Plus shipping, which is also about 20 bucks. And then I bought it for about 50 So, doesn't bother me though. At least uh, I didn't have to wait for any shipping to come in. But, oh, anyways. So, price aside, guys. I'm really glad I picked up this figure. Um, it's my first one of the figure arts. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up a couple more. Um, for what I've been looking, they have released. They have released some major players of the stand of Dragon Ball Z line. Uh, two Goku's, one with Super Saiyan Four and one Normal Saiyan, as well as Trunks. The when he traveled back in time to stop the androids. Uh, Piccolo, and I believe they have or are going to release a Go. Now I would love to get my hands on a Piccolo or. Or Goku. But who knows. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, stay tuned. i got a couple more reviews coming up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.